For this DX Central D extra quick tip, Lloyd Van Horn here in the backyard this afternoon doing a little uh, reconnaissance work, as it were. So I have a tree here in the corner of my backyard. It goes, it goes up pretty high, as you can see. I have a PA Zero RDT Mini Whip that I want to get up into the air. So I need to get it. I want to get it up as high as I can. So I've already used my Air Boss cannon here to shoot a limb as high as I could really conceivably get it with the space that I have allowed here in my backyard. It's up here somewhere is that limb. So I've already shot that, taken some of my rope, put it on the end of the fishing line and then backed everything back down. So I've got two ends of rope, one right here and one right here that go over that branch. So what I've done is I need to see exactly how much coax do I need to go up to the top of that tree or wherever the mini whip is going to be sitting. How, do, how high do I need to go with coax? Because then the base down here, I'm going to have a ground rod with a lightning arrestor that the coax will plug into. And then my feed line coming from that lightning arrestor all the way down around to my window panel around the corner over there, which I can measure that easy. That's easy. But I need to know, okay, how much coax do I need to do to get me up into that tree up there and then down here this lightning arrestor? So how do you measure that? So now that I've got it up, I've taken one of my uh, reel, open reel um, measuring tapes and I've tied my rope here onto the one end of it and I just yanked it up. So I just yanked it up with this rope, pulled it all the way up until I can get no more, kind of got my resistance and then measured it to the base of the tree and it was exactly 45 feet. So now I know I need about 50 feet of coax to get me up to the top where my tree, uh, my branches that I'm slung on. That put me up 45 feet for this PA0 RDT mini whip. Not bad. So that's how I do it. 73.